good morning and welcome to part two of our garden renovation. So where we left you last time, and it's actually been a couple of weeks, so we had to leave it for I think two weekends because I was out on one of them. Was it two weekends or was it one weekend? Maybe it was one weekend. I was definitely out last weekend so we couldn't do it then so it's been here for a little while and now we need to actually get this finished so that is the plan for this weekend it is the bank holiday weekend so plan is to get these boxes done and then we can obviously move on to the next phase so that's our big job my parents are coming down tomorrow so today is me and wade flying solo on the garden boxes to try and get them finished where i left you last time i'll show you it's an absolute mess this is where we got to so we've had to obviously cover them up because it's been raining and things like that and we didn't want to get them, to get them too wet. So we covered them up with the sort of tarpaulins um, and the little one over there. So this one is built, this one is built. What we need to do is build something in between there. Um, that one's half done, that one's not even started and then look at this pergola. Like this is where all the building supplies have been living for the last couple of weeks. So all the blocks in there and then all the stuff that we need and we've got the sleepers as well because we just decided that we're actually going to move, move, make sleepers into something. So they're such lovely um, sleepers, basically, they're lovely bits of wood. So we don't want to, don't want to lose out on them. So we're going to make them into something else in the garden. Um, this big box here is I got is our garden sofa. It arrived a couple of weeks ago, but obviously because there's loads of stuff under the pergola, we couldn't put it out under there. So we've just left it in the box and prayed that there's not much rain to ruin the box. Um, but it's actually been all right. It's standing strong, so that's been quite good. Um, so first job on the list is we actually have to go back to B&Q because we need to get some concrete and some render and bits like that. So my hair. Oh, and brick ties. I need to remember that. I need to write a list actually because my dad told me to get brick ties that screw in. So need to put that on the list as well. But yeah, first point of call, B&Q. In the car on the way to B&Q. Also, non-garden topic, but I got my hair done yesterday. What do we think of it? Went a bit light around the face. I quite like it. I feel like it's a bit summery. I was toying with the fact of going dark and then I was like, no, let me just go blonde again. But quite like that. But yeah, in the car on the way to being cute. I am so tired today. I don't know what it is. I think I've had quite a long week at work. It's been very, very busy. So I said to Wade, first point of call, we need to go to Starbucks. I need a coffee. And then we might get some food as well over there. And then B&Q, we did order a big food shop, but it's not coming till this evening. So we're gonna have to make do with what we've got or go and get something before this evening. But yeah, B&Q list. Oh, I didn't even write the list down. Morning. Hello. Morning. Morning, morning, morning. How'd you feel about going solo today? So sweet. Going solo without dad? I feel confident. Yeah? Yeah, I'm confident. Um, we need to get render concrete. Mm -hmm. And dad said we need to get um, brick ties that screw in because we didn't because for the wall to stay up it needs to be connected to the boxes okay i think that's all we need the same brick ties that we got a lot from our phones no he said we need ones that actually like screw in because you know where we've put the two walls up what they're called boxes mm. rendered planters mm. um to get the wall at the back in between them we have to connect those to the boxes. Okay. So we have to, and because we've already got the mortar that's hard, he said you have to get the ones that screw in, or you're gonna have to drill a hole through the mortar. Mm, let's get the bridges. That screw in. Yeah. Right, we are back. Um, we had to go to Tool Station as well because there was no render in B&Q. I feel like everyone must be doing <laughs> rendered planters at the same time as we are because all of the blocks that we got last time, they was all out of stock and all the render was out of stock. So we managed to get concrete from B&Q, which is the third bag down. And then we only managed to get three bags of one coat render, which won't be enough for all of the boxes, but at least there's something to start with because it was yeah out of stock. And then we also got a bucket um so that we can mix up the concrete because excuse the grass as well the grass is literally dying um there's a miss bonbon should we say hello bon okay so first job is in this section over here so we lifted up 
oh sorry Gary, I saw the cuttings of the bricks as we were sawing them. Um, yeah, we lifted up the patio that used to be here and this section is so weird, so like all of here up to here and also my, my thumb. <laughs> I took my um, the nail varnish that came off of my thumb and I thought there's no point me repainting my nails until I'd finish the garden work but um, yeah, we lifted up the patio tiles and if you see like this bit on this side and like around there that's all like hard concrete but weirdly this section here they just seem to shove a load of sand in it so that is not concrete so my dad said to level it out we're gonna have to um get some concrete and just stick it in there so that we can level it so my first job is actually to dig this out a little bit to see how far the sand goes down um and then we're gonna have to then mix up the concrete pop it in there and then level it out we've never used concrete before so We'll see how it goes but the one that we did get was the multi-purpose concrete ready to use from blue circle so i think it's going to be a bit like the mortar that we've got where you just stick it on and basically mix it with water that's what i'm hoping it's the easy one to do um so yeah that's the first job i just made myself another coffee because i don't know what is wrong with me today but i'm so tired so another coffee is on the go i'm gonna get my wellies out of the box and then we can actually start doing something and it's already afternoon so the day is pretty much gone already but hey ho, it's about holiday weekend we've got got a few days to go all right so i've cleaned out this hole i basically just used a bit of a mallet and a mini shovel thing one of those um just to get all the loose bits out but look at that i don't know why they did this it's like obviously this was when we moved in so when we took the patio tiles up this is what we found but it's like what they did was concrete everything and then realised they made a mistake and had to like dig a piece out to then do something because why would you just leave that patch without concrete? It's so weird. It was like all sand and rocks and stuff like that, all like very loose. So that's all done now. So Wade's going to mix up the concrete bag. We looked on the back. It's literally just pour a bit of this concrete into the bucket with some cold water. He's going to find a stick to mix it up with because obviously it's concrete so we don't want to like ruin anything else so he's going to do that. In the meantime I think I might start over here so I need to get all this stuff off. This is the, what does my dad call it? The muck board um, where we mix up all the mortar with the water and stuff and have like use the shovel to all mix it all together. So we've got I think one more row of bricks to add onto this one and then we need to start on that one as well so I might start that while we mix up the concrete just get ourselves all prepped and ready for this one. <laughs> DIY in <at> its finest. <gasps> it broke. Now it looks too thick now. How do you know when it's the right consistency? Oh no, look, two litres of clean water per bag. So one litre, I've definitely used for that one. I thought just pour it in the hole. Someone might look at this video and be like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, then you get a construction guy, innit? Yeah, be like, oh, what are you guys doing? That is not the way to do it. Oh, this is DIYing.
good progress. One box almost done. We're just finishing it off. Moving on to this one. But we un we took off the sleeper boxes and then I don't know why, but the gardeners who came and did the patio and the sleepers, they just done this like massive mound of concrete. I have no idea why. I mean they did a great job on the patio and things, but the sleepers I wish wasn't, I think I said it in the last one, like I just wasn't that overly impressed by them and then when we took them off they just had this massive mound like what is that even for i feel like they just had leftover concrete so they just made a bit of a pile with it so i feel like when you get these di sorry, i can say diy then they're not diy they're professional people but the professional guys here like they, they do a great job on the outside but sometimes when you unearth it you're just like what is that um so i'm not entirely sure how to lay the bricks on this side because how we did it before that's the string line that went from the other one so you'll see those ones are just before the fence post so in order to get this one just before the fence post then i just we're gonna have to lay it somehow on this mound but i just don't know how it's gonna work out so i was gonna like get started with it but i thought let me wait for wade and we can try and decide together on like what to do because i'm not entirely sure but happy we got this one nearly done <laughs> look in the window it is day two of bank holiday weekend there's a lot of noise going on over there's mowing next door they're playing music over there lots going on right now but we're already outside we did do a bit of a clean up this morning because my parents should be coming soon so they're at, they weren't church this morning so it's like 11 something now so they should be nearly finished and they're making their way soon but we've only got a little bit of mortar left, so Wade's just mixing that up now on the board. Look at his hair as well. His cute little pom-poms. <laughs> he wouldn't like me saying that. <laughs> but yeah, he's just mixing that up now. And then we're going to have to go to Wicks to go and get some more. We've been going B&Q a lot to get the blocks and stuff, but Wicks has the mortar. And they also have Brenda in stock, which is good because I feel like everywhere is sold out of Brenda at the moment. Everyone seems to be having the same idea of building these boxes. So... We'll go and grab that as well, but another day, it is really nice weather today as well. It's actually quite warm outside, like blue skies, it's sunny, so it's actually quite nice, although it will be quite warm working out here today, but I'm actually excited to get these boxes done. And then we need to move over to the other side and finish off this wall. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't copyright me because you can hear the music in the background, but we've also, the concrete that we laid yesterday is all firmed up quite nicely so hopefully we can start to lay on that as well we're not going to lay across the whole thing all we've got to do is lay like one block because we're building a wall from that side across there and then a little bit on this side this side so then we can lay the sleepers across as like a bench so it should be okay enough to do that but that was another little job we learned yesterday which is quite good but yeah cracking on we're finishing let's get this box done this is what we got to yesterday by the way we got to here and then we literally was dashing around like we had to get these up as quickly as possible because we were being eaten alive by the mosquitoes i think there was yeah there was like tw there was loads like 12 each around us and they seemed to be getting bigger and bigger as the sort of time went on and i think i've left with about 10 mosquito bites all up my legs i've got one on my hand wade's got a few in some places he probably doesn't want to have a few so I was very, very itchy last night. It was like, as soon as it got past a certain time, they just all flooded out like a big army. So we just had to try and get as much blocks on as we could and then just run inside. So we left it like that, but this should get done. I think the mortar that we've got should do enough for this. Finish off this one and then we can go and get some more and then start doing the wall construction. Check the tyres, they said up to 600 kg. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. We're close. Oh. All right, do we see the vision? So these aren't, these bricks aren't actually in. I've just laid them on top of a trailer so that we could have a bit of a view of what it potentially could look like. So this is the idea. So we'll put 
blocks all along the back where it just said let's go like one higher just along the back so then it almost come up like that along and down and then I've just laid two sort of blocks up on either side and then the sleeper is then gonna lay across so we should fit in two lots of those so two sleepers one next to each other we just need to trim it a little bit but there's no point doing that until we've got the render in but can you see the vision imagine this all rendered painted white and then you've got the nice wooden sleepers up there as like a little bench what do we think we could even put some wood as well like another sleeper underneath it almost like slightly next to it so it looks like the legs are there and it might also help with the added support as well maybe i'll try that hold on so yeah i just popped that wood so imagine it's hard to see it but imagine there's no gaps and it's just white going all around and then the bench down i think that look, would look quite nice and then obviously what we're going to do is then patio underneath it once we get the patio and the patio is going to come out slightly in this way what do we think quick update we found a way to do the um wall system so the plugs we were using just were far too big that's why we think that it cracked the block so found a way to put it in and we have already done quite a bit of the wall so we've done all that back bit there and then this little ledge is where the sleeper is then going to sit on so we just need to go up one more level for the back of the bench area but I feel like this is probably our best work yet, this final wall. Also, I've got mortar in my eye, so I have one eye with no makeup on, one eye with makeup on because I had to wash it all out of water, but I was quite um, scared actually, it went into my eyes, and I was like, I literally closed my eyes, I was like, it hurts so much, and I wanted to like, guide me to the toilet so that I could wash it out. So, two casualties so far this afternoon, one the brick and one is in my eye, so. But you know, we carry on. My parents have just arrived, um, but I think it's a bit late now to do any sort of rendering. So we're going to finish finish off this wall, and I think we're going to call it a night there. This is called being mentor at its finest. Crazy person. Right, it is day three of the bank holiday weekend, but it is almost through day three. But what we have been doing is getting it ready to start doing the rendering. So my mum had to go out for a bit and get some more of these things over here, which I'll show you. We had to pick up, I think it's called Expermat external stainless steel corner beading. So it looks like this. It is super, super sharp on there, but you've got the sort of mesh on one side and on that side, then that's the corner there. So then if you add that round to all the rose beds, then it will create that nice sort of straight line. So we had to go and get a few more of those. I did order some, but they wasn't enough to do the beds. So we still don't have enough to do these ones here, which are the ones by the back of the garden. But we're gonna have to order some more to get those ones done. But the beading has been going on. So, my dad and Wade have been doing this together. So you put it on the edge of the wall and then they've been drilling in some screws with some wall plugs as well and using these brass sort of washers. So everything we had to use, we had to get the external stainless steel versions or the brass versions to tie it all together. So they've just gone along and put holes in and screwed those in so they're all nice and tight. So you'll be able to see on this one that now it creates that very straight edge all the way around. So when you put the render on, it should look lovely and straight and takes out any of the kinks of the walls. So that is the next job that we're doing now. Some of the bits of the walls that were like a little bit higgly piggly, then I'd have had to use the angle grinder just to get it a lot straighter. So he did that on that one there. So I took a bit off so that it goes in a super straight line so then we can put the angle bead along up the front. So that's the next job. We're hoping that we can get this stainless steel stuff on and then at least start to render today so that we can, yes, pretty much start with that. I don't think we're gonna 
get too too far with it but we're going to try and get as much as we can done um and then we'll obviously move on to those two on another day so long job but getting there Good afternoon. It has been a fair few weeks. Ignore my eyebrows. Um, you would have seen the last video, or maybe it might be the next one. I don't know, but disaster at home, salon treatments. We're going to ignore them. They're very dark at the moment. Hopefully they'll fade over the next few days. But anyways, um, yes. I can't remember where I left off with this one of the garden vlog. It's been a fair few weeks. It's been a bit of one of those where just life has sort of like taken over and I was ill one weekend. We was busy for the, some of the other weekends. My parents been busy and we've been waiting to just try and find a slot in the diary where everyone could do it. So that is today so we are back in the garden getting these boxes done now we have already planned in that we might have to do a today and then a next week as well because just not sure if we're going to get it all done there's still quite a bit to do i think when i left you last time we was putting the metal stuff on one of the boxes we've got to do it for the other boxes my dad's going to start rendering today we've got to do quite a lot of rendering and we've got to then obviously paint it once it's, it's all done so there's still quite a lot more to do but we're going to get there so my dad and um wade have been outside for a little bit i've been just finishing off work for the afternoon and um, so it's a little bit late in the day but we have got tomorrow as well um so yeah they've been just cracking on with getting some of the metal done you'll see them there bless my dad in his little shorts he's um over just getting some of the stuff out from inside the boxes wade is obviously working extremely hard there on his phone so but yeah, I'm going to go outside now and start to help them. I am thinking that I'm, at the moment I'm just wearing like a summer dress because it's so hot. And I obviously when I was doing these, this garden work before, it was like full on leggings and jumper vibe because it was cold. I mean, how weird is that that the weather can change so quickly because looking back a couple of weeks ago when we was doing the boxes last time, it actually got quite chilly and we had to get like jackets on, it was raining. Now it's like super glorious weather, but super hot to be working out in the garden. So point to south next year we're starting the garden stuff like way earlier because i mean we're already in june and i've already come to the realization that we're not going to obviously have the full garden done how i'd want to do it for this year so and we've got quite a lot of things like booked over the next two months and we've got holidays in august and there's just loads going on so we've sort of said to ourselves that I think the most we're going to get done is the boxes and then if we get anything else done then fabulous but if not then it's okay like it's a work in progress it's something that we'll keep working on over the next year or two until we get the garden that we want so next year when we start the project then we'll just start way earlier in the year so then it'll be cold but I mean I think it's easier to work in the cold than it is than it is to work in the heat because this heat is a lot so yeah that's the plan but we're going to see what we can get done over today and tomorrow so i'm gonna pop outside i think yeah i'm gonna keep this on what i might do actually is i might stay away from the render leave that to my dad and wade to get down like the wet stuff and i'll just stick to the dry one and put the metal on the boxes but i'll show you what i'm doing anyways in a second i'm just gonna grab us some lucas aids out of the fridge look at this stocked fridge love a stocked fridge um I'm just gonna get some Lucas Aids out. I've got these from Morrison's earlier, so get one for me, Wade, and my dad. I don't think my mum wants one. And then I'm gonna pop outside and we're gonna get to work. It is quite noisy everywhere, and there's someone mowing in the back as well. But I don't know if I explained properly what we did last time. So this is obviously the planter box. Um, this is the metal stuff, and then we basically just drill holes on the top and then also on that side as well and then you put the metal on well now you need to put these plugs in these red plugs put those in there put the metal on and then use a washer and a screw 
to then screw it in place. Everything that we're using is all like stainless steel, so you can use it outside so that it doesn't like rust or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing on this one here now. So I need to basically get it looking like that one over there. Where it's got all the metal all around it. And it's all nice and like ready for the render to then go on. There's Miss Bonbon sleeping. Good morning. It is so sunny again today. It's quite early in the morning already and my eye has been stinging me all morning. But I am sitting out here in the garden. I don't think I showed you the garden sofa that we got actually. Let me show it to you quickly. Um, this is messy obviously because it's sitting under the pergola where all of our building supplies are at the moment. But we bought this corner sofa. It's actually really nice and the set was quite a good value. I'll find where it's from and I'll put it down below. But um, yeah, we've got a corner sofa. It comes with like this little table and it has like a little glass side over there. And then I just popped on the two cushions that we got from Home Sense a couple of weeks ago. But it is super comfy and it's quite nice under here because you still get like a bit of sun through. So it's warm, but then you get shade as well. So we did have it out over there for a week or so just in the middle obviously it was in the middle of a building site pretty much but um we had it out there and it was quite nice to lay down on but it does get super hot um it's a bit of a sun trap in this area here so we're actually thinking instead of having the sofa we'll have the sofa under the pergola and thinking instead maybe get like we was going to have that actually as like our barbecue area but we're thinking maybe instead to get like lounges there little like table and chairs maybe over there and then eventually we might build like some sort of kitchen garden thing over there which is why i got that book so that we can have a look at some ideas to do like along that side there the aim is is to try and reduce the amount of grass um so like having a kitchen garden a bit more patio and stuff so then we're probably going to get some like fake grass next year because yeah, this grass does not do well with bonnie um it's looking a bit wild at the moment but obviously all the building stuff is out but exciting stuff happened yesterday i decided just to sort of crack on so i didn't get too much on the on the vlog but we were just getting as much as we could done yesterday and then we're out early this morning and um, my parents have to go to their friends so they're only here for a few hours before they've got to go but i'll show you my bit first and then we'll move on to the exciting bit because where my dad made really good progress yesterday so i just did all the metal so all the metal alongside so you see like it now creates that really nice like structured line so that when you then put the render on it it's all like you can see all the nice corners and it's a proper box like so that if you didn't do that if you had any like dodgy bricks or anything like that then it could make it like quite rounded whereas now it's going to be really nice and structured and it also gives you a guide when you put the render on and having this stuff here means that the render sticks to it a lot better so you're not having any any like running off of render or anything like that it's all it all goes on really nicely and the reason why i know it was on nicely because look at this progress that they made yesterday we have render first coat of render on these boxes here how good does it look now now, now when you see it compared to that one which is obviously still a bit of a building site how good does that look now um what they've done is they did a first coat along that side here you have to render both the outside and the inside of the boxes so wade was in in the box yesterday rendering that and they've done it so that they're going to do two coats of render so in order to get the second coat on you've got to do the scores in it so that then the second coat can then stick on it well but render is going on 
and what they're doing now they're just knocking up another lot of it so that's just literally what we bought was this stuff here which is one coat base render we picked that up from wix mix it with water and that stuff that we used on the mortar as well the waterproofer and retarder that pink stuff down there pop that in as well and then mix it all up so it's like a nice watery consistency obviously it's really warm so we don't want to knock up too much because then it will dry out quite quickly so they're doing like a little bit at a time so that it doesn't dry out and then they can just get it up on there so i think what they're doing at the moment is just cleaning out the inside of the boxes just from any of the mortar that dropped down from before and then they can start on that side as well i'm gonna carry on with the metalling i got one more strip to do at the back just around there which is quite difficult to do because obviously it's like next to the fence so i can't get the drill like on that side so i have to just try and get this bit as close to it as possible so i'm going to get that bit on and then i'm going to start with that box as well so that's the plan i'm just drinking my coffee and then we'll get started all right we are calling it a day mid-afternoon my parents have to go i think i said to their friend's house and then also we're going to go and see some of wade's family so we're going to leave it there for today but we've made very very good progress just for a few hours in the morning as well and um, we are going to carry it on tomorrow so hopefully we'll have one coat of render across all the boxes but this is what we're currently looking like so this one has all had its first coat of render obviously it's drying so there's like wet patches and stuff but how exciting like how much better does that look now that the render's on it and then if you compare it to those two over there can you see the vision can you see the vision coming alive now so yeah that's all had its um render coat on it what i might do tomorrow is i'll get way to just chat for a little bit around how i did the render because obviously we didn't explain that much in this one but yeah that's all done and then me on the metal i got i got quite far i mean this takes so long this job um i managed to do the top so basically all of the top on the because you've got to do it on the outside and on the inside to make that perfect sort of box look um the only bit i couldn't do was this end piece here because i've got to get more screws we ran out of screws the amount of screws that we have gone through on this job like completely underestimated it i think i've I think we've used like 500 screws like it's just mental um and also the plugs i had to go and get more of those yesterday and more washers so yeah you use a lot of washers screws and washer washers screws washers screws and plugs that's what i'm trying to say use a lot of those on this particular job but it's looking good um i've just got to do that end piece there and then just the four pieces around the sort of vertical bits of the box that one is all done ready for to be rendered tomorrow so the plan is i'm gonna go get myself ready now for going to see wade's family i don't know what to wear because weather was a bit weird actually it was really really hot this morning and now it's gone really gray and overcast so i think it's gonna rain so i'll try and think of something to wear i might wash my hair as well because it's looking a bit worse for wear um but yeah gonna get ready and then tomorrow my parents are going back home today but my dad has taught wade all of his skills on the rendering so i think we're confident enough to get the first coat on ourselves on the other boxes so that's going to be the plan for tomorrow is to finish the metal on the second box and then get one coat of render on that'll be it for this weekend and then my parents will come again next week to get the second coat on and then we can paint it like we're nearly done we're nearly like, you know you can see the finish line now nearly at the finish line afternoon it is a bit of a later start this morning or this afternoon we haven't even started yet in the garden this morning look at this tan that i actually got Oh, I've got a tan line. Looks a bit more on the camera than it does in real life, but that's all the work. Bonnie, don't lick my bagel. But we've had a bit of a productive morning, but not on the garden just yet. But we had a little bit of a lay-in. When I say that, I mean like we got up at like nine, so we wasn't up super early today. We got up at nine, had like a coffee, had a gym session. We went to a gym session. We was there for a good hour and a half two hours i did a big leg day today um because a couple of days ago i just didn't have the best session so i thought i really want to make sure that i have a good leg day this week so it did that today and on my leg sessions i always take a lot longer in the gym and it's probably quite good for wade because he always likes to spend that amount of time in the gym anyways and then we then had to go 
to screw fix so that was a little bit of a drive it was like a 15 minute drive there and then 15 minutes back just to get some more screws so that i can finish off the metal today in the garden and then when we came back obviously we've been to the gym and stuff and it's so hot so i jumped in the shower i also had an oil hair mask in last night so i thought if i have oil in my hair in the garden when it's this hot i'm basically just going to fry my head so I needed to wash my hair and get all the oil out of it. So I've washed it. I've just stuck it in French plaits for now because I just thought I really don't have the energy to air wrap it or blow dry it. And if I leave it to air dry, it'll just be an absolute fluff ball for the next few days and I'll have to like rewash it. So I thought I'm really not dealing with that right now. So um, just put it in two French plaits. My battery's flashing at me, but I've literally just made some lunch. I'm just gonna eat this very quickly. Protein bagel with some chicken, cucumber and carrots. Gonna eat that and then we can actually get to work. <laughs> you done so well. Where's your other glove? Over there with the metal. It's gonna go all over your hands. Wade's out here now. Starting his part of the job. On the render. In his palm print shorts. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about it. We can't remember where we bought those. I think there are a few probably a fair few years old probably more than a few yeah, i think we we kept ruining all of our clothes yeah i stupidly wore a pair of gym shark leggings a couple of weeks ago and i've like they're now ruined so you have to basically just wear rubbish clothes to do these types of jobs so he found his palm print shorts i was saying i think that we bought them when we were going to grand canaria in our first few years together we only went to Grand Canaria a few times. Um, we went one year and we enjoyed it, so we went a few years after that. Um, definitely tired of Grand Canaria now, because he's probably gone there way too much. But I think we bought those shorts to go there, but he never actually wore them. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong Metal is officially done All the metal has been done on this one now as well But that's a bit of an achievement Get that finished I did have a couple of casualties finger and then also I did cut my leg as well so that's got a plaster on it obviously you probably should wear gloves and also it's really sharp when you cut it so you have, to, you have to stay away from it but maybe I was just tired I wasn't really thinking about it I just let it drop and then it sort of sliced my leg on the way down but metal's done Wade's doing a great job over here on the render first coat on this one's almost done and then we've got that one to do, and then like first coat of render on all of them. Exciting time. Looks good though. Yeah, you got to brush it. Yeah, to be fair, I haven't actually explained the render bit of it. I just just the, um, mixing up. So when he moves on to the other one, I'll do like a couple of clips just showing like the 
the process for how he's getting this, the render on the boxes. So I'll let him finish this one and then when we move to that one, we'll take a few clips. Step one, using the jet washer to wet all of the bricks because that makes then the render easier for it to stick onto the wall. See the sun is just there. It's about to set, but it's the last one on the home stretch. Um, step two is obviously mix up the mortar, which I've already explained once before in the vid. And then once we started to get it up on there, then I'll show you that bit as well. Next step, we're just using the what's it called? The trowel. The trowel. To pick up the render and then he's currently doing the inside of the box. So he just like pops some stuff on the bottom and then sort of drags it up so that it creates like a nice layer. So he's got to do all the inside and then he's on this side and then he's got those other sides to do as well. We've only got that much render left. We've got six bags and I mean, we've managed to do that one, this one, and then we'll just see how much we can get done of this one. And then I'm gonna have to order some more for next week. My dad's coming again next week, so that's like the finishing one. Because the reason we did two coats on it is so that it could be really smooth. Because there was some like divots and stuff like it sort of went. Some of it went slightly in and out, so we just want to make sure that it's all really nice and straight and smooth. So when they come next week, we can do like the final coat, and then they're going to use like a leveler to then get it all completely level all lovely and straight and then that'll be the final one before we then paint it so i think they want to do like a little bit of a thicker coat on the next one so i'll probably have to order more bags but i think we got six last time so maybe get eight bags or nine i don't know we'll see how long how far this one goes this was like a whole bag of render so we'll see how much we get done with this one on here and then that might give us a good idea final step we're just using a big paintbrush with some water just to get it all nice and smooth and then obviously the last last step is that we've done done little like notches in all of them and scored them so that then the second coat will stick on obviously if you're only doing one coat you don't need to do that but because we're doing two we've done that so last step and just trying to tidy up a little bit because there's a bit, a bit of a mess guys first coat of render is done they're done. We've tied it up a little bit and we do obviously need to make a big dump trip at some point in the next week or something to get rid of all that stuff, the big box that the garden sofa was in and all that stuff there. But first coat of render is on. So we got this side. So these are the two big boxes and then that's where the bench is going to sit. The wood is there at the moment. And then we've got those two big ones at the back. What do we think? That is a lot of hard work over many, many weeks getting all that stuff done. But I'm very happy of how it's turned out. Wayne's done a great job on the window as well today. I just messaged um, my parents to show them that we've done those two boxes. And then it will be all ready for when they come next week, Thursday, to finish it all off. So we're done so excited i think i might actually end this one here because the next bit now is the next coat of render painting cleaning up the garden a bit doing the bench so i feel like that will be like his own other part almost part three because it's part two now so thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you are new here and we will see you in the next one